So everybody that has a project is engaged in some sort of fundraising. And oftentimes people come to our workshops and they say, how do I fundraise? Can you give me tips for fundraising? So a, a key distinction of our work is not how to fundraise, but what is the model of fundraising that you're doing. A typical model is a charity model. That is what most nonprofits are engaged in. That's what mostly what you'll hear is a charity model, which is help these people. Help me, help them. You, you can help them because you have, they don't. That's what we um, don't do. So we don't do a charity model. A charity model is a helping model that keeps people separate, keeps one person having, the other person not, and you give them scraps and maybe you know they'll get a Band-Aid if they're bleeding. So we don't do that. Another model of fundraising that's pretty typical in our world is what we call philanthropy. And phila nothing wrong with philanthropy, however, it is not what we do. It is what we call, philanthropy is what we call giving with an agenda. So, you know, X corporation sponsors this event so that they can get their name out there and, you know, build goodwill among their potential customers. Okay, that is philanthropy. Again, very accepted, very widespread, not what we do and not what we train people in. The model that we're training people in is what we call conscious reciprocity. And I'm gonna let Monica speak a little bit about that. So conscious reciprocity is a space where we give knowing that while we give, our heart expands. We give not because we have an agenda, that because it is to solve a problem of some kind, though it may, and we hope it does, we hope it solves the problem, hope we shift, it shifts the system, but conscious reciprocity is almost being grateful that there's someone else to receive. We know, by the way, that gratitude, there's a lot of work done on gratitude theory. We know that gratitude and giving expands who we are, makes us much bigger and is able to make us far more whole. So this kind of giving that is truly a reciprocity, and we call it conscious reciprocity because I believe there's some other meaning in the finance world to just reciprocity. Yeah, every time we said reciprocity, then people in the finance world that were in our workshops would say, oh, we know what that is. And so we were like, no, that's not what we mean. So we've distinguished it as conscious reciprocity. Yeah. 